It is Earth Week, and All Week ABC News is looking at the power of water. And today, we want you to meet one teenager who is helping to save our rivers and our oceans. Cash Daniels is his name. Started doing his own river cleanups at the age of seven. Picking up litter and helping to recycle, he even co-founded the organization The Cleanup Kids to inspire others to do the same. And today, he's working on that project that will help recycle fishling, fishing line, I should say. And Cash is joining us now for more. Cash, so good to see you. You are in Spring City, Tennessee right now and placing some of these bins to recycle fishing line. Tell us about your mission and maybe you can show us one of these bins. Tell us what it does. So these are made for fishing line because here in Tennessee, we have a big problem with fishing line because we have a bunch of fishing tournaments and people love to fish here. And this is just a little bit of fishing line that I have. And these are one gallon jars. And I have thought um, we've collected 1,000 miles of fishing line. Huh. And I collect them using using my monofilament bins that I put up along the Tennessee River. And I have 50 of them out now. And um, in nine state parks and several boat docks, um, fishing piers, anywhere where you can fish, I have these. And they work by, just has an elbow piece. And so it can't, the wind can't get in and blow it out. And a big long shaft for the fishing line and a screw for the um so it can't just fall out you have to screw it out so oh, so cash tell me why the fishing line is is so bad and why you need to 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 you know get it all in there so fishing line is really bad because it can tangle around animals and um because mostly when you see it like tangle around animals it's because they got it on them young and then they grew into it and if it's around their neck then it will um stop them from breathing and that's the most common way fishing line kills animals right you said yeah. you're working you said you're working to help clean up microplastics in the tennessee river tell us about your work there uh and how you're going about doing that so the the tennessee river in particular is the most polluted with microplastics than any other ever tested in the entire world. And when you think about it, it's mostly not the Tennessee River because you think about the Mississippi when you think of rivers in the U.S. And microplastics are pieces from bigger plastics that have broken down over time. And they are five um, centimeters in size or smaller. And microplastics have actually been found in the human bloodstream and in newborn babies. Oof. All right. So you, you've said that a large amount of the ocean pollution actually begins on land. Explain that to us. So 80% of all ocean trash actually begins on land because all rivers eventually lead to the ocean. And all these sewers dump out into the river and then those sewers lead into the ocean or rivers then the ocean anywhere where plastic is then it's going to make its way to the ocean and no matter where you go you can find plastic i found plastic um in the middle of nowhere in south dakota and um everywhere you go you're going to find plastic and that is going to make its way to the ocean whether it gets blown by the wind or falls into the river and gets taken there by the currents, Cash. it's going to make its way to the um, ocean. Yeah. Cash, let me ask you this, because you are an amazing young man. You know an awful lot about this, and you've dedicated, what, the last six years of your life, almost half of your life, uh, to doing this. What got you inspired uh, to do cleanups like this and help inspire other kids to do the same? So... I was inspired to do this when I was on a family beach vacation and I found a plastic straw and I made the connection to that straw by harm the animals that I loved because no matter where I went, whether it be the aquarium, the river, um, anywhere I went, there would be um, plastic and I just loved fish, animals, 
anything that swam and I had to protect it. And yeah. I inspire other kids because they are the next generation and they need to know about this pollution and need to know why it's important to clean it up. Yeah, well, you're doing an amazing job. You got a big heart and I'm sure your parents who are with you today are extremely proud. Cash Daniels, it's real nice to meet you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.